Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be looking at Google Drawing. It's a piece of software that isn't used that often within the Google sphere of apps. So let's go and find where it's located. So we've gone to Google Drive, we click on New and More and Google Drawings. And it's got many features common with Google Docs. So you'll notice we've got the Share button and the Comment button and the ability to chat with other collaborators so we can work, multiple collaborators can work at the same time. Um, we can title our drawing and then we've got the ability to insert text box images, word art. We can also add shapes and images as well through the shortcut menu here as well. So. How can we use it? Well, I think one really nice way of using it is is maybe with art students is to create a, a visual research sort of mood board where they're pulling together their research in the visual form. So potentially they go insert image and then they'd use the search function and they've got a number of things. They could look at life um, and they could type in subject so let's go back to Google search for the moment so Andre Cater is one of my favorite photographers they could find an image related to that and they could insert that image they could resize that image and then they could find an article on him maybe the web so I'd always advise they don't use Wikipedia but always pick this article and they could copy that link and then using the insert link option or command or control K depending on whether you're a Mac or a PC you could click and add a link and apply so there we've got our first one and we could continue to do that so a great way of creating a sort of an ideas board or highlighting where you've got your ideas from, getting the students used to capturing resources um, uh, and capturing reference to where they've where they've sourced those images from. So they are a very easy way of adding images to create a mood board or a an ideas board, which they can then share with their tutor. A couple of final things to show you within it. Um, there's some other options they can do. So they've got an option to download it as a PDF if you want to maintain the links. Um, you could also download as a JPEG if you just wanted the images available. So, um, and the final thing you can do with it is you can also publish it to the web and that will generate an embed code. So there, that's our first look at Google Drawing. Uh, join me again soon when we're looking at other things that we can do with Google Drawing. Thanks for watching.